Greetings and welcome to the updated RV tour of my Purple Palace. I am reigning Queen Tasha and today I'm going to show you around and share some updates I have made to my RV since the first tour video. Greetings, I'm Queen Tasha and welcome to my channel, Queen Tasha TV, where I share my very unique and alternative lifestyle from RV life and travel adventures to DIYs, how-tos, healthy living, and sustainability. I want to put a young black face to alternative living and inspire those watching that it's okay to be different and live your own best life. Please subscribe and join me each week on my journey to live fearlessly free. Greetings! I'm Queen Tasha and allow me to reintroduce you to my purple vibes. Come on in. Alright, first I'm gonna tell you about a few things that I've changed in the front room. So first I have this beautiful curtain that I put here to have a division between um, the living area and the driving area, but also above is just storage and it's kind of an eyesore, so I decided to keep that closed. But yes, I put that in. I also added the blackout curtains. Um, those help significantly with privacy and also um, the greenhouse effect from the sun coming in. And I also put film, as you saw in the video previously, um, in the windows that also has a UV protection and gives a tint to it so that people can't see it at all. It provides privacy. Um, I added the gold trim around the cabinets um, and then the flower garland and lights around the top to give there's some more light in here. So changed out the table. Um, I've had it in many different morph modes, but <laughs> this has been the best one art project that I've done on it. And it was a silicone paint pour uh, with different color paints. And then we put um, gold leaf and glitter on it as we polyurethane it. And it came out beautiful, I love it. Um, and then nothing has really changed over here. This was in the video but I did do some organization and labeling that I want to show off to my um, herb apothecary here so yes that was very satisfying to do <laughs> um, yeah and that pretty much is what I've changed up in the front room I also painted the ceiling that makes it feel a little bit brighter because I was feeling like it was really dark in here All right, so I'm going to show you how the dinette turns into a bed.
I updated the floors with some vinyl stick-on tiles I found on clearance at Walmart. In the kitchen and bathroom, I also removed the wallpaper because it was peeling from humidity and I ended up just painting them with this fuchsia color. So the main things that have changed in my kitchen space is my beautiful U-neck faucet because the last one was like coming out right here and trying to stick dishes under that was just like impossible. And then I also have a Berkey filter. It just makes it easier to have this little cool down thing to fill up my Berkey filter and I love, love it. If it was gold, it would be so much better, but like, Yo, they be charging a lot for <laughs> these things. Um, I also um, updated the countertops um, from the last, from the very first tour video. I had had a vinyl laminate that I put on there and I never epoxied it. And so it just started peeling and it was just a mess. So I ended up taking it off, putting some gray countertop paint. And then I did a acrylic paint um, sponging around to give it like some type of you know marvelous <laughs> look and um, yeah I when I first did it I only did the perimeter of the sink and then I was just like oh, I don't want this gray sink so I did inside the sink too and I polyurethaned it to um, keep it waterproof but you really got to keep up with that uh, to keep it that because it starts rubbing away in some of the like spots that are well used I guess or overused and um, I also got new um, utensils these are all silicone uh, I got that for a couple of reasons one um, it's best to use either metal or silicone but I had metal ones and when I was driving down the road they were knocking up against here and making music back here that was not pleasant so these are very quiet um, and they're, they're uh, longer lasting than the metal ones. So I upgraded that. I changed some stuff around up there, but that's not too important. And I also got this, which is a um, bug zapper. I put it right by the door. It's also like a lantern, so it's kind of like a nightlight too. Um, but I put that right by the doors to get the mosquitoes when they first come in. Cause they, be, they be trying to get you when you all move on this. So you just gotta be careful. <laughs> <laughs> um, and lastly, I put some butterflies around my bathroom door, which takes us into the bathroom. We're in the bathroom. It is a small space, but it is cute. Some of the main things that I've changed in here. I did the same thing to the countertops that I did to the um, sink in the kitchen but I got myself a new um, shower curtain after I did the renovation or repair basically of the shower. So this is what it looks like on a regular basis. It's my storage when I am not using the shower. So I have my laundry here. I have my bucket of dirt for my compost toilet that I'm sitting on. I have my five gallon water jug with purified water in it. It's a sub, it's a secondary um, or a backup water system that I have outside of the Berkey. I use the Berkey more when I'm stable and sitting for a little while and when I'm traveling I use this and I fill it up at Walmart or any water fill station. I also have my cooler under here um, for when I'm boondocking and I don't have enough solar to um, for my, my refrigerator. I'll put the stuff in here and just get ice which this is like the last resort have that and then behind that is my solar shower I'm not gonna take that out but um, it's a bag that you put outside if you want to take a shower in nature and then I usually hang my towel here and yeah so that's the, the shower and then it's closed all up nice like that and the other thing that I changed was um, my towel um, holder so before I had some hanging like um, cloth shelf kind of thing and I've seen these 
um, gold metal baskets at the Dollar Tree, so I got these, hung them up on the wall. Boom, 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 and I think it looks a lot better, so. And the other major update that I did to the bathroom is the compost toilet. In my original tour video, I had a portable toilet. I took, I always take the toilet out, both in this RV and the last RV, because I don't want a black waste tank. Um, and first I started with a portable toilet and that was an okay experience at the beginning and it got worse over time. And so I was just like, let me go back to a compost toilet. And I made this, I made a video about it and it's also in my RV repair time-lapse video. So it is a simple bucket system uh, with urine diverter. The urine diverter goes into the gray water, which used to be the black water tank, but it's the second gray water tank for me. And that water also, that tank also mixes with the sink water and so it kind of dilutes the, the urine. And yeah, that's basically it for that. That is the updates to the bathroom. going to show you all the things that were in the shower. I'm going to take it out and I'm going to show you how I would potentially shower. And now we are in my bedroom. Um, the main things that have changed back here are I put a bunch of pillows <laughs> to make it seem more like a day bed and also just to make it fancy and cute. Um, and I also added my altar here. Before I had my TV over here and I decided to put all of my metaphysical things. So I have my, you know, smudge wands and wands and incense and Buddhas and I display my shells, I got my crystals here. So yeah, that's uh, that's my altar. And as you see behind me, I have blackout curtains here. This is a huge window right here, and then there's one on the left and one on the right. Having all of these blackout curtains make a huge difference in this bedroom. This is the place that it gets the most hot because there's the most windows. And so having these blackout curtains are a game changer. Um, as well as the Reflectix to keep it private. Um, I also have this little thing that goes up in here. Um, it blocks out the light, but it also blocks out the heat during the day. So I also use that. Um, coming right along over to here, I ended up mounting my TV here, and the reason for that is because the cabinets on the closets fell off and that allowed me to have a space for me to mount it. There was no real sturdy walls anywhere for me to mount a TV at any point and when that happened I had this little base here and so I have this swivel lock RV. It locks in all of these little things once I push it all the way in so that it doesn't move around while I'm driving um, and it can go this way so I can use it while I'm cooking can face it this way. I usually have it in this position and then I watch TV like this. <laughs> and um, behind that is one of my hanging closets. So I'm gonna come inside and see. 
messy. Looks kind of messy. It's got it's getting ready to get purged um, for an organizing event that I have. But this is where I put all like the hanging stuff. It's mainly shirts and dresses and skirts in there. And this actual curtain thing that I system that I have is a simple just string. And um, this was a piece of fabric from a scarf that I cut into two pieces and made closet doors. <laughs> so on the other side. We have, this is my shoe closet slash, this is where my pants are, and then I have some miscellaneous items up there, like my hats, my thermal pajamas, and some long sleeve tees. Um, so yeah, that's, this has been reorganized many of many different times. I haven't really found a way that suits me, but I always keep it organized somehow. <laughs> uh, this isn't the best system, but it's the best use of the space uh, cheaply done. <laughs> so yeah, that is what's behind closet number two. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it that's changed in the bedroom and I love being back here. This is one of my favorite spaces. On the exterior, I added 200 watt flexible solar panels to the roof and I freshened up the paint with a bolder shade of purple to complete the upgrades. Well, that concludes my updated tour video of the Purple Palace. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Peace and blessings. Amen.